Hello my friends, Debbie with Debbie Gets Crafty and guess what? Another Timu package. This is mostly diamond paintings. There was only a couple of items that were not diamond painting related so I set those aside but we do have I believe two, three, four, five, six, I think like seven diamond paintings in here. And so this will be over the course of two videos. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll put that aside. I'm going to start with the smallest. Actually, there's one extra item in here. And uh, this is diamond painting related as well. So let's just, we'll start by opening that. And as a matter of fact, that is going to be difficult. So... There we go. Let's go ahead and open it this way. There we go. Aha. I hope everybody is having a great day. Any chance I have to spend some time with my friends, it is, it goes in the win column. All right. So these are just some stickers. There's a thousand stickers in here, and these are just those round stickers. I got the round stickers because I use mostly, let me go ahead and grab one. This is out of my most recent diamond painting that I'm working on, my summer garden. And I use these round jars pardon the sticky on the top so for my diamond painting so these will come in handy to put on the top to label my jars so that's why I got those the prices and description the prices for each of these items will be in the description below if they are available. If they are not available, then of course I will not have them listed. So we'll just go ahead and put that aside. We don't need to be wasting time with that. Next, this is a teeny tiny little baby picture. It's a 20 by 20 full round drill. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, friends, I have to say, you know I've been on this kick with the stained glass looking paintings, so there will be a theme running, even with this teeny tiny little baby size. All right, friends, so you get your standard toolkit, green boat, one pad of wax, and a single placer pink pen. Everything you need to work on this painting from start to finish is right here in this little bag. And I like the ones that are in the resealable bags because, you know, you can use these bags for a million and one different things. So I like that. Okay. And these are your colors. And we'll go over those in a minute. Pretty bright colors. And here is the picture. Isn't that beautiful? And this again is a 20 by 20. There's 14 colors. And I just love it. I'm going to go ahead and you know me. I'm going to break out my little trowel. This painting is so small that the trowel will go over this. Oh, nice stick. The trowel will go over this no problem. All in one fail swoop. All right. There we go, just relaxing the canvas. If you'll notice, it sits a little flatter on this side than it does on this side. There is a little bit of a, I call it a dog ear on the one corner, but it didn't affect the, the uh, glue at all, the adhesive. And just by doing this, we're just taking out the air bubbles and helping it to relax. 
There we go. Isn't she really pretty? The colors on that are so vibrant. And I love, they look like tulips to me. They might not be, they might be a, a, another type of a bloom. But it's got a legend on the upper left, lower right. They are all letters. And look at that drill field, really nice and clear. So that's my first painting. And we'll show you the colors a little bit closer. Pretty blues, pinks, and yellows and creams. So this is gonna really look pretty. And this'll be this'll go quick. This'll be a quick project. So our next painting, let's try this one. Alright. So this next painting is a 30 by 30. I think the rest of them are all going to be 30 by 30. And we'll take our little... I know this isn't what this is meant for, but it is for me. So, and that's okay. It's what I happen to have handy. There we go. Okay, this has 17 colors in it, and you'll see this has a standard toolkit as well. Perfect. And these are more of a, the pink and mauvey colors, wine colors. On that one, some browns. So we'll go over that in a little more detail. Let's look at this picture, shall we? Isn't that beautiful? I love this picture. I mean, it's the stained glass look. It's the pinks. And they look like magnolias to me. Aren't they beautiful? And it almost looks like a sunset type of a, a thing. But it's so pretty. Let's go ahead and flatten this out. It's, again, got 17 colors on it. Oh, and that's got some good stick to it, for sure. Okay. Go ahead and just flatten her out. There we go. My husband and I spent a couple hours last night doing some diamond painting on our yin and yangs. And... Uh, our canvas is the yin and yangs and we just had a lot of fun Todd is really enjoying diamond painting so I'll, during my live this coming Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel Debbie Gets Crafty I'll show uh, a progress on our yin and yang paintings so this is my magnolia picture you can tell with the beautiful, pretty pinks and mauves. It's really got some nice color to it. And so let's take a look at the drills one more time. The pretty peaches, the darker colors that'll help to stand, break it, you know, bring it out, and stand out. The pretty mauves, wine colors. So that's that painting. It's going to really look nice. I love it. All right, friends. And I think this will be my last one for today. Just a quick video. And so we will go ahead and open this. There we go. A 30 by 30, another one of my favorite plants, or flowers I should say, your typical, your standard toolkit, some beautiful colors, and 
here we go. So friends, this is actually another spin on the yin and the yang. Look, I guess I'm on a kick on that now, thanks to my hubby. Uh, but I saw this and it's got the sunflowers, which are one of my favorite flowers. And I just thought this was really interesting. So I just wanted to get it. This is a little different from the stained glass canvases that I that I've been getting lately, but nonetheless, it's really it's just as beautiful. It's got 18 colors in it. Uh, the legend is on the upper left, lower right. It is alphabetical, but it is not in alphabetical order. It does include the DMC codes. It does have your canvas code on the drills as well as the canvas itself. And let's go ahead and release some of this canvas here. There we go. The drill field looks really nice and clear. It's just a really interesting picture. Just another twist on the yin and yang look. And that stick is nice. That stick is very nice. There we go. Perfect. So that's a really pretty picture. I love the warm colors. If you notice in the last picture with the magnolias, it had the the you know the pinks and the mauves and and such. And this has more of the warmer yellows and oranges and I just really dig this. I dig them both. If you know me, you know I love all the colors in the crayon box. So there's times where I like to do something more bright and, you know, uh, vibrant. And then there's times where I really dig this type of a motif and this type of a color palette. So we have these beautiful oranges and the darker you know the of course there's a lot of color blocking the background is black uh, it is the 310 but you've got your beautiful oranges that'll stand out so nice you got some really nice bright yellows that'll really look nice not too bright though and some cream colors the brown and some gray and some of the terracotta colors really pretty color palette it's gonna look so nice so this is the third picture that I wanted to show. And then my next video, I will do the last of this particular haul. So we have our sunflower yin and yang. We have our magnolias. And we also have our teeny tiny little baby tulips. So friends, that's all I needed to show you today. I want to thank you so much for stopping by and uh, thank you for your continued support if you already subscribed to my channel. If you've not yet subscribed, please do consider it. I really appreciate it. Hit that like, notif that, that like button and uh, also hit that bell notification. You'll be notified each time I upload a video. Leave me a comment and I will say hello back to you. Uh, and as always, I appreciate your support, your continued support. I'm a little teeny tiny fish in a great big crafting pond, but your support means so very much to me. Thank you so much. And I am growing my channel uh, little by little, so uh, I can't do it without you. I love doing this and I love sharing um, my diamond painting and crafting experience and journey with you. And I, sh I certainly hope that you enjoy it as well. Until I see you all again, my friends, please take care of yourselves. Watch out for your friends, your family, your neighbors, and be the voice for those animals that need a voice. Until I see you again, my friends, have a great day. Goodbye now.